Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a brand new feature for the One UI 2.1 that was added to the Samsung Galaxy smartphones after the One UI 2.1 update. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This one is a very interesting and kind of an advanced feature. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your My Files application. In this case, mine is sitting in Samsung folder. So that's the My Files. If you just can't find it, just tap in My Files, all right? And then tap on it, go inside, and what you can do here, which is pretty amazing, is if you scroll down, we now have a brand new option known as Network Storage Option. By the way, I do want to thank the Twitter user LJazz for sending me this tip, and you guys can do the same thing. If you have a good tip or trick or a hidden feature for a Samsung smartphone, just send me a DM on Twitter, and I'll make a video about it and get you a shout out. We already had all these right over here, but this one, if I tap on it, I am able to add servers and other network storage locations that might be under my local network to the phone and access those files directly. So in my case, I'm gonna tap on add network storage. What it's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to scan an FTP server that I might have locally, or I can connect to a network drive with SMB file structure. So I'm gonna do that right now because I do have a couple of these. So I'm gonna tap on it. It's gonna be looking uh, for drives on my current network and take a look at what happens. It's gonna find my desktop computer and also my NAS, my NAS server, which I use to store a majority of my files, my music, my videos, my YouTube projects. So it's my work and pleasure drive. So it is connected to my router, but now it's appearing right on my Samsung device with this new brand new option. So I'm gonna tap on it and I'm gonna to connect to it, of course, and of course what I'm gonna do is I am going to sign in with my username and password. But basically that's the IP address of your actual network drive, that's the port that you're using, then you plug in your username and your password that you should have for your own uh, network attached storage device, and of course the name of the actual drive that I gave it. Okay, so I'm gonna tap on add and see what happens. This is amazing because now I'm able to uh, access the entire network storage right from my Samsung phone with the built-in software. This is fantastic. You can see I got photos, I got music, I got my surveillance cameras information here, I've got videos, web, and my YouTube projects. If I tap on this, these are all my YouTube projects. So that's just good that I can access here uh, and I can actually work from my Samsung Galaxy smartphone or access all the movies and photos right from here and also transfer things back and forth uh, from my local files into the network or from the network onto my phone. This is absolutely fantastic. Now one more important thing, if you go to network storage again and if I click on plus, I do wanna show you one more thing. When I tap on network drive, you'll see that another thing is gonna pop up here. You can also th add things manually if you're a little bit of an uh, advanced user. But you'll notice over here, this is my um, storage server, but that's my desktop PC. So I can actually connect to my desktop PC as well and have access to all the files on the desktop PC that I'm sharing in my network. Now you have to configure that on the Windows side or your MacBook side, but once you do that, you can connect to it even from your Samsung Note device or the uh, S20 or S10, whatever, as long as you have One UI 2.1 and you can access all the files on your desktop, computer, or your MacBook or whatever, which is great, okay? That's that's awesome little feature. And one more thing, like I mentioned, let me just go back in real quick to my files. Uh, when you click on plus, you can always uh, tap on one of these servers here and you can tap on add manually. So if you're a bit of an advanced user, if you have all this information manually, what you can do is you can uh, put in the IP address of the server, the port number you're using, username, password, and of course the name of the actual server. So just so you know, that's an option as well. Some people just are a little bit more advanced, but you also have the automatic version. And I do want to thank the tip I got on Twitter, without which I was not aware that this feature was added. So thanks to that tip. And if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. 
And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.